I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Once you've made the decision to go from a fish only with live rock tank to a reef tank, there are several upgrades that you need to make to your tank. And those upgrades fall into three categories. Flow, lighting, water chemistry. We'll cover each of those topics in their own video, so make sure you watch each of those videos before you go buying coral for your tank. First up, flow. Corals need nutrients, oxygen and carbon dioxide, and they produce waste, so they need water flow to bring these things to them and take them away. Flow takes care of that task, and while there is some flow created by the hang on back filter in the budget bill tank, it's not enough for corals. Therefore, you need more water flow in your tank, and more flow is achieved by water pumps called powerheads. Powerheads sit in your tank and are sometimes called flow pumps. They come in two flavors, AC pumps, DC pumps. AC powerheads are almost all constant speed or constant flow pumps. You plug them in and they run at their max speed, like this Cichet Voyager here. It's an AC pump, you plug it in and it just goes. Now DC pumps are usually variable speed or variable flow pumps. You can ramp up or down their flow depending on your needs, and you do that with an app or a controller. Some DC pumps can create various flow patterns throughout the day to simulate waves coming onto the reef or a low energy lagoon. DC powerheads have come a long way, and I use them on all my tanks. Whether you go with an AC or DC powerhead, both contribute to your tank turnover rate. Wait, your what? Tank turnover rate. You determine tank turnover rate by adding up the flow coming from all the powerheads in your tank and dividing it by the size of your tank. Let's have a look at that math. On the soft coral budget reef tank, each of these powerheads moves 660 gallons per hour and there are two of them on the tank, so that makes for a total of 1,320 gallons per hour. Note that I'm not including the flow from the hang on back filter. There's not enough flow from that filter to consider it in the tank turnover rate equation. The budget reef tank holds 20 gallons of water, so 1,320 divided by 20 equals 66. Okay, so is that too little, too much, or just the right amount of flow for this tank? The answer is, it depends on what type of coral you're going to keep. Soft corals like less flow, and hard corals like more flow. Here's some guidelines for you to follow. Soft coral tanks are between 20 and 30 tank turnover rates. Mixed reef and hard coral tanks like turnover rates of 40 and above. Going back to the budget soft coral reef tank, we calculated a tank turnover rate of 66 times an hour, which is way over the suggested 20 to 30 times an hour for a softy tank. Here's where the beauty of DC powerheads come in. 660 gallons per hour is the maximum flow that the loop wave pumps can push. Since they are DC controllable pumps, I turn them down so they produce less flow to keep my tank turnover rate in the 20 to 30 times per hour. If you need more flow for your tank, you either turn up the power heads you have or you add more power heads. Besides increased flow in your tank, adding power heads lets you create varying flow patterns which your corals like. Okay, where do you place the power heads in your tank? high enough that they agitate the surface of your tank's water, and in a place where they can shoot straight across the tank and not directly at a rock or a piece of coral. Now you can offset the power heads as well, they don't have to be at the same level. An important part of the Budget Reef series is to show you good, better, best equipment purchases that you can buy once and keep with you throughout your reef tanks. If you're looking for a fully featured DC power head that you can use on your tanks up to four feet long, the AI Nero 5 pump gets that job done. I'm using it on a hard coral reef tank as it produces plenty of flow and creating variable flow patterns is easy with the My AI app. Flow in your reef tank is essential for happy corals and it's fun to watch your corals move in the flow of your tank. Now having flow from one direction makes your corals look like a hurricane is blowing through and no one wants to see that. I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.